Tom Schofield says he was sick with COVID-19 for several days, but on January 10th, he took a drastic turn for the worse. And I stood up from the couch. I literally fell over into the Christmas tree and knocked it over. So at that point, I guess I was pretty weak. Schofield had been a firefighter for 30 years and was chief in Litchfield until 2011. Two of his sons are Londonderry EMTs, and they came by ambulance to take him to the hospital. He was ashen looking, weak, uh, could only speak one or two words before taking a deep breath. You, know, you try to treat everyone like family, but it's, it's much different when it is your family. Tom was taken to the Catholic Medical Center where, after just a few hours, he was put on a ventilator. That's when they started asking you all the questions about, you know, do you want us to take every step possible to keep you alive? And, you know, who's, who's in charge? Who do we notify? And when you start rattling off names and telephone numbers in between trying to gasp for air, um, it's, it's um, pretty damn scary. But after 12 days, Tom pulled through. He's now home and, while still weak, is on the mend and credits the bravery of the hospital staff for saving his life. These people, 12-hour shifts dressed like that, working the way they do with such a positive attitude and caring attitude from the doctors right on down. It was, it was, it, it was the best, worst experience I could ever have, if that makes any sense. Brian Schofield says that he hopes his father's story reminds people of how serious and dangerous this virus can be. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.